Alrighty, let's play this in full first. Hey guys, I was just, uh, I was just, this never leaves this room. All right. So it's interesting. So you are mentioning here something in the email that about the cut to the second camera sooner. Okay. You're going to bring the set sooner. No, I don't know. That's not what bugs me here. Hey guys. And I don't think that the swing back should be snappier. But the thing is, you look at this animation here. So the moment you start a shot, the movements that you have on the character with my awesome circle here is going to dictate. So that swing over here and that swing over there. All of that's going to dictate the style and look of the shot. So, because this is not super extreme in terms of <clears throat> the posing and the timing, I don't think that this one should suddenly be a really fast move back. I think this is fitting the style. Hey guys, I was just... Uh... Yeah, I don't mind. Actually, the thing that, that I thought was weird is that I like all of, the, I mean, I have some comments about the posing, but in terms of character going back and in the reveal, there's some camera stuff I would tweak a bit. But I think the timing of when they appear is fine. But there are a couple of things that are happening here. So let's go one by one. A, right off the bat, on the first frame, you have a very twins pose. It's very straight. I think the posing could be a bit more dynamic and you can look at reference of, uh, you know, singers. It depends on what kind of style you want to go for. Um, I would just in general avoid that type of mirroring or twinning in your pose. And you have that, I mean, throughout the whole thing and it gets you into those W poses. And it's just that whole beginning is massively twinned and it's not very dynamic in, ter in terms of posing. And that's until frame 50 for me, if I start at one. But then also as we go up, I don't mind this framing, but then as we go up here, we're getting very close where we're just cutting off right there. The head is very close and you still want to stay within thirds. Is that a third? It's not quite thirds here the way I'm, I should have pr practice enough <laughs> drawing thirds, but I will keep the heads more down here. So as you, go out with your camera you might have to start further out so it's not a really fast move back but you're gonna have to fit this character more into frame where you know where it's <clears throat> potentially a bit more like this character's a bit lower and we still see the feet there's still room underneath the feet there and you can see that again just those moments where it's weirdly cut off at the ankles you don't really want to cut off at ankles so it gave the character just more room now get to this i will watch out for your arcs there's some there feels there's some poppiness in terms of what's going on i don't mind this here but you have a bit of a broken hand pose i don't know if that's an ik arm at this point you got to look at your the posing of that the fingers here they seem really grouped here with one out again it feels very flat and it's posing and then that feels very stiff where you have, he's on his toes, right? Raised foot, but then they're kind of, they're, they're very similar, but you got that, that very stiff moment here with the neck, the head and the upper body like this. I think that swing could be a bit, I don't know, again, it depends on the feel, but it just doesn't quite feel the uh, uh, match the sound either. She goes up and me and he goes up. I don't know, there's something where you want to, like the, the, for me, the music swells, right? So it's, he goes up, up, and maybe that, that swing could be like this with his arm, me, and then phew, out for, for that path. So we look at just cleaner arcs as well, where you have your hands going back here, 
doing this over one frame. You got a linear pop there. Again, this looks like IK, but I'm not sure. You can see how much this forearm pivots compared to the forearm. And you got a sudden, you know, breakdown with your wrist. Again, that feels a bit broken. While this kind of starts hanging there over a couple frames here. You can see how that arm visually goes down. But then it kind of hangs and then suddenly it pops down here. It's just overall, um, it needs a lot of cleanup. Again, that hand feels like it's being pulled forward, IK style, while the rest feels very stiff where you just have that arm pose kind of the same. Again, this is very stiff there. And then this is pretty bananas in terms of the cleanliness. You, you start an okay arc, but again, it feels like this hand is almost stuck in space while the rest is moving, making this again look like an IK arm. But then you have that arm starting an arc, which is nice. And then you go back this way and then, whoa, pops over to the right. Whoa, pops up and to the left. So it's a bit messy in that regard. Just from a technical point of view. Then we get into this. And I like this. I like that goes over there. We, we move over there and it reveals, it leads the audience to this space. The thing that's missing here, what I would have is, um, uh, I mean, this is a picky thing, not that's not make or break, but you could have a, a more, what's what's the word? Like, yeah, it's the cleaner view. I mean, there's nothing there of a of a plug or a light switch or something he pulled for the lights, and then lights turn on just to make it. I mean, I understand what's going on. They just they just appear. And you're going to have something with lights, but just make sure that once you're there that, you know, he's pretty shadowed out here. You got the spotlight from the top and then bam, then you still have some residual light with some light up here. But then there are other lights here and it's clear that they turn on the lights. I know I feel like that could be it's not that that much work to add that here and some lights just to make that really, really clear and clean. And the thing is. I would personally, I would stay. I would stay in this framing and I would frame out a bit more. Just potentially like this. You got room here and you got room with the feet. Uh, and if, if they get too small, I mean, you can always bring them closer, but I think that still tells the story. And then what happens here is that he's looking right to left and then boom, now he's looking left to right. So you're breaking the 180 rule there. And it gets a bit. It feels very awkward at this point because there's not that much room. There's a big focus on this, which we don't really need to see. And this is way too cut off on this side where we don't quite... I mean, I understand what that is, but uh, it's just not as clean in its composition. So when he goes back... You know, it's, it's a residual thing of what you did before with that animation, but is there any way where... Yeah, it's a tricky thing, but he would have to swing all the way back here, which then you can't see. Um, it's a tough one if you want to retain this animation. I mean, what you're going to have to do is... So I looked at the previous version and it wasn't... Ooh, it could have been a bit cleaner as well. I mean, at least what you could do is, again, it's not, you, it's a weird break going from right to left and then left to right, but. Where at least you could cheat this. I mean, he's not jumping that far back where it's, again, it's not the cleanest thing and I wouldn't, I wouldn't break that. It just, it just weirdly mirrored because he's, he's the same size and frame. It's suddenly just mirrored. You know, where I'm, just, I'm not, to me, this doesn't quite work, but I know this will, it's a tricky thing because how are you going to bring in this jump and that? Because that, you can still cut from, from this potentially to this body's a bit more turned over. Uh, and I'll probably have the head a bit more on the off right side, right to left. That can still work. So how can we salvage this? I mean, one thing you could do is, since this seems still pretty clean in terms of silhouette and how he goes back, 
just the thought what if so if he starts here and we go back and he doesn't go so super far to the right he's a you still keep him somewhat run here so when this happens and again i would give it room and it might end up being here and even in this framing right let's pretend this is, would be your center so he's still slightly off to the right the characters can still be here so that still works and now the character could still have some room to jump back to here I know he jumps way further back. I mean, it would end up being probably back here. And I don't know if he, I don't know if you want to then pan over to the right to continue this. So let me bring this back. It's a tough one. It's really I'm not too sure. Because then you can continue the scene like this where he he does the whole jump back and he's still here. And then we cut from that view to this. Or just that we swing around the camera a bit more, you know, viewing this side. I don't know, to be honest, I don't know right off the bat. I'm gonna have to think about this a bit longer. Because this to me is just a posing issue, clean up on the animation, uh, slightly cleaner framing, just some staging things with the lights. And then suddenly, this is, I'm just not a fan of this. But then from here on, You can probably take a couple of frames out of this, so it's not such a anticipation, not anticipation, but kind of lead into this. We can go straight from this to to kind of that almost. Hey, hey, that could just be sped up a bit. We could take some poses out. Hey guys, I was just, uh, I was just. This never leaves this room. This though is a bit, is watch out, you got some very similar shoulder movements there. That move forward feels a bit in one axis. And then with the posing, again, it depends on the angle that we're gonna choose, but like stuff like this, like nothing else is moving. This just feels like one big block that moves. I think you can just push, push that a bit more. And if he goes this way, again, depending on your angle, I will probably turn him a bit more to have a cleaner uh, neck silhouette. So kind of like, hey guys, and then, when he does that then you can turn a bit more and wide turn the body away from them again potentially even with more view of the neck so there's just a bit more silhouette change and just body silhouette change overall through this it seems just a bit too simplified um but mentally i'm still wondering about this here what could we do yeah i'm really gonna have to think about this i'm gonna um just wait in silence here and record <laughs> nothingness but what could we do here i'm gonna stop it here maybe you have some thoughts in terms of how far you want to go in tweaks because i might suggest things you go know, like i don't want to do this anymore this is way too much work or um let me know how far you want to go and what you're open to do but i think this definitely needs a change we can't really have that weird mirroring here I mean, you can always take this away and there must be a way where, again, if he's small as here and he jumps, not full profile back, but then also a bit this way um, to kind of salvage that moment. Because, I mean, he steps to, he goes all the way back to where that leg is. So if he's here, I mean, it could still work, right? And we say, let's pretend... You want a bit more room, and it's about here. I mean, this could still work. If I look at where your end pose is, right? He ends this. They're nicely in that, on the left side of this. He's there almost with them in the middle. And if he snaps back, it looks like he steps over just this foot balance-wise. He actually doesn't jump all the way back. So he would end up here. And that would still be in that third aspect of it. I think the composition would still work. How about that? How about maybe, I don't know if you have the same animation um, going from this to this. It's just a different camera angle. 
But if it is all in one animation shot, um, or maybe just copy this camera over into this shot, what happens if you're here and you do that move back? How clean is the silhouette? Does it end up actually here? Is that something that you could do in a quick test and then send it to me? And then we can take a look at this. I'm just curious. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that before I destroy more. Um, so let me know. Let's do some email back and forth and see what we can figure out there. All right, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.